ready? Well, man was made for loving, not buying. Go can get the things you really need. Just look, my friends, there's happiness in living. Somewhere between broke and being free. Hello, Mr. Mike, you're bringing you another children's time message we have on my left here. Pastor Rosa, yes, that's right. I Hi. know yet another <laughs> pastor. That makes about 72, I think. All right. And this here is my little friend, Naomi. We call her Mimi. She is a, a part of my Girl Scout troop who is about to be bridging. What what, what level are you going to be bridging to? Uh, a brownie. A brownie, yeah. So that's awesome. So let me ask you something. Do you ever Have you, have you ever gone to a baseball game, like a professional baseball game? It's not really. Not real, okay, so that's a no. I th okay. Um, you ever watch baseball on TV? No. No. Do you know what happens um, at the set, like in the middle of the seventh inning, after the top of the seventh end, and before they go to the bottom? You, 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 know, you know what happens? Do you know what happens? No. Really? Oh, boy. They're really in this good old. They do what they call the seventh inning stretch. And okay. what they do is everybody in the audience stands up. Make a little. Um, everybody stands up and stretches and sings, take me out to the ball game. Do you know why we do that? You, you know why they do that? No. Well, here's the thing. Nobody knows how the seventh inning stretch started. I did look this up and I found several reasons, reasons why we all stretched during the seventh inning. And here, here this is my, my, my favorite story. I love this one. Well, a popular story from the start of the 7th inning stretch is that on April 14th, 1910, that's a long time, that's 110 years ago, on opening day, 6 foot, 2 inch tall, 350 pound President of the United States, William Howard Taft, was sore from sitting too long at a game between the Washington Senators and the Philadelphia Athletics, and he stood to stretch, causing the crowd to show respect to join the President in his stretching. This story is set um, at a far later date than the other reasons I found. However, so he may only have given the presidential seal of approval you know, to a then popular tradition. The story that his soreness forced him to stand up makes it seem more of a coincidence, but he might have just been waiting for the right time to relieve his pain. Either way, he gave national publicity to the practice. Ever since then, um, this has become a tradition at baseball games. The middle of the seventh inning comes, we all stand the stretch, sing take me out to the ball game, and even before the announcer asks us to. It's just, it just became a habit of a fan of the sport of baseball. So, during our Girl Scouts meeting, we have another habit. What do we do at the start of each meeting? Um... We go around the table and what, what, do, we, what do we do? We, we do a round of sharing of the good turns, right? We go around and ask, you know, we go around the table and ask each of you Girl Scouts to share at least one nice thing, you know, she's done this past week. Why do we do that? Uh, do you know why? I'm, I'm not sure if I, she's kind of new, I'm not sure if I explained that to her. Um, well, it's because the Girl Scout slogan is, do a good turn daily. And it's a way, you know, to help you all remember to do something nice for somebody else without being asked and without expecting something in return every single day. It's just a habit I'm trying to get you girls, you know, into, you know, a good habit at that. What other habit um, do we do daily? You, you do any other habit daily? No. Do you, do you, do you pray daily? Yeah. Yes, yes. And when do you pray? At night time, yeah. Hang on, hang on. At night time, right? When else? Yeah. Or sometimes when we're going somewhere. When you go on, oh yeah, I have some travel blessing. Did did I hear you say before you eat? Yeah. Well, what's it called? Call when you say um a prayer before you eat. So I learned that. What what what's it called? God is good. It's called grace, right? When when you um pray before a meal, it's like, okay. You know, when else, you mentioned quite a few times, but what, you know, when else can you pray? You said you can pray when you, before you go on a trip, when you go to bed at night, before you eat. When else can you pray? In the morning. In the morning. You know, you can pray anytime you want to, right? 
anytime and what can you pray to God about you know what can you talk to him about anything you want to right because God is always there to listen to us to hear us to bring us comfort joy to hear our problems to hear our joys I, I just realized that kind of rhymed <laughs> to hear our concerns you know to just be there for us God is like your best friend and prayer is like a special telephone number you can call anytime you want to and as often um, and, and how often you know does God answer your prayers every time right yeah. yeah now it may take time years even for God to answer our prayers sometimes God gives us answers to questions we don't ask not the questions we do but God is always there for you God listens every single time God has a plan for you God knows what's best for all of us and in his time shows us the way if you don't know what to say in prayer just say your will be done can you say that with me your will be done your will be done yes that's the simplest prayer we can say and it's also one of the most powerful prayers you can say isn't God awesome yes yes okay let's pray right now okay thank you God for always listening to us for being there for being our best friend thank you God for unanswered prayers as we patiently await your answer thank you God for answered prayers even if they are into the questions we never asked you thank you God for knowing what we need most thank you God your will be done and all the God's children say amen, amen.